On a sunny mountain plateau, in the middle of the Grison mountain range, lies the Arosa Golf Club. In the daytime, at an altitude of over 1,800 meters above sea level, an incredibly diverse game awaits you on the same terrain where the cows have grazed during the night. The course is the work of father and son. Donald Haradine completed the first nine holes in 1946, straight after the Second World War. Fifty-five years later, his son created the second nine holes. The way the architecture of golf courses has changed during this time is reflected in the different design of the holes. The journey through time between the two designer generations is what gives this course its special character. The par 65 extends to a maximum of 4,364 meters. As there are no par 5 holes, the course looks short on paper. In reality, there are several meters of climbing to overcome, and the thin air will take its toll. Therefore, do not expect to have an easy game. Before you start, enjoy the fantastic panorama, which will accompany you for the next few hours. The par 3 on the second hole is the first visual highlight. The green appears to be almost carved into the slope on the opposite side of the valley. The ball must carry over the bottom of the valley, nothing else will work. If you are a bit more daring, you can smash the ball down the slope behind the green. Unless the rough is too high, the ball will automatically roll back onto the green. On the third hole, you will encounter what is in all probability the most unconventional fairway in Switzerland. Behind the crevice in the hill lies a two-meter-wide strip which has been molded into the slope. Immediately before the green, an inconspicuous water hazard collects the majority of balls just before the goal. You must conquer the steep hill of the fourth with two wild shots, but please make sure that they are controlled. The well on the fourth provides the thirsty golfer with refreshment. A hint for overseas visitors, yes, this is indeed drinking water and you can safely drink it. The fifth hole is probably the highest in Europe, a wonderful par 3. Strongly guarded by water, but relaxingly short. The fairway on the sixth is designed like a marble track and leads downhill until it branches off to the left at a 90 degree angle. Here, the length of your shots must be spot on. The Alpine hut prevents a shortcut over the dogleg. On the 10th, one of the older holes, you must skillfully avoid the deep ditch in the middle of the fairway. If your ball lands in the ditch, you have gambled away your sight of the flag. The course now leads you to a wildly romantic copse. The 12th hole is idyllic, a difficult par 3 in the middle of a clearing. The 13th hole is also a tricky par 3. You somehow just do not know what to expect when standing at the tee. This uncertainty does not make your tee shot any easier. A beautiful alpine garden can be found on the green at the 14th and 16th holes. The last two holes once again demand your entire talent. The forest on the 17th hole is in the way, about 100 meters before the green and narrows the path. The fairway on the 18th, with its downward slope, resembles a mogul piste. Here the winner is the person who is luckiest. The difficulty changes enormously depending on how your white friend stops in the terrain. Boredom is unheard of at Arosa Golf Club. This course is infinitely varied. The mountain panorama and the alpine environment complement the perfect golfing experience. It is a real pity that the course is only open between May and October, depending on snow conditions.